All right, this is our review for Come to A Exam 2, Enderly. Uh, it's all going to be on YouTube. Know that this review is not exhaustive, meaning I'm just not able to cover all the subjects possible. I want to cover some of the bigger subjects as well as I can. Um, but, yeah, there could be some things I cover that's not on the exam and vice versa. There could be some things that I don't cover that are on the exam. Just like any of my other reviews, same thing holds. Okay? So I'm just going to march through the sections and do as much as I can in about an hour. Alright, here we go. Uh, we're going to start with net ionic equations. Net ionic equations. Oh, right over here. If you're solving a net ionic uh, equation, there's basically three steps. Okay? The first step that you're going to do, and this is all in my reader. If you want to check it out, this is on page 30. Uh, the first step is you got to write the reaction, uh, whether it's usually a single or double replacement or something else, write that down. The second step is you want to, and you want to balance it. And then the second step is the state symbols. So get those state symbols down, and sometimes you have to use the uh, solubility rules. And in other cases, it's just going to be general knowledge, all that stuff listed in my reader on page 30. And then, and we'll do an example in just a second. And then finally, you get rid of the spectator ions, and you write the net ionic equation. So in order to do step three, the key part is determining which ones are strong electrolytes. All right, so let's uh, try an example of this. Uh, let's say you uh, read a question that said you're mixing ammonium hydroxide and uh, hydrochloric acid in solution. Write the net ionic equation. All right, so you'd go, well, you need to know what ammonium hydroxide is, and you'd need to know what hydrochloric acid is. Okay? This is going to be a double replacement, or more specifically a neutralization, because I have an acid and a base. So this will go to NH4Cl plus uh, H2O, a salt plus water. All right. So that was st step one. The reaction, it looks balanced. Now let's do the state symbols. You know if two things are mixed in solution, they have to be aqueous. So let's do that. Uh, and, uh, you know, we have an aqueous acid. If you looked in the solubility rules for the first one, if you want to double check it, you'll see on bullet one, ammonium NH4 plus is always aqueous. All right. And so uh, from... From what I just said, actually, if you look at the products, from bullet one, ammonium is always aqueous, and Cl minus, uh, that's a halide, and according to bullet tool two, uh, in the solubility rules, that's aqueous. And then water, you just generally would need to know <laughs> that that's a liquid. Okay, so we got step one and step two done. Now, uh, we've got to write down the net ion equation. We've got to figure out what's a strong electrolyte. So. Water is not a strong electrolyte because uh, solids, liquids, and gases are not strong electrolytes. Uh, this is, uh, I can separate this out into cations and anions. Let me do that. And the reason is this is ionic. So I'll write NH4 plus and Cl minus. Uh, it's an aqueous ionic, so those are going to be strong electrolytes. This one is because it's a strong acid, so H plus and Cl minus. And then ammonium hydroxide. We need to realize that, about that, it is a base, but it's a weak base. How do I know that? Because of the table that lists strong acids and strong bases. Uh, and so this is not a strong base, so by default it's a weak base, so that's not a good electrolyte. Now let's see what's going to cancel. The chlorines will cancel on both sides. So, and that's it. So what's left is ammonium hydroxide aqueous plus H plus aqueous goes to NH4 plus aqueous plus water. 
liquid. Uh, and there's my solution to the first one. All right, let's try a second uh, example if we can here. Um, I'm going to pick, let's go lead to uh, sulfate. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's go lead nitrate plus um, ammonium sulfate mixed in solution. Okay? So lead to nitrate, let's write that down. plus ammonium sulfate. Make sure you get your subscripts correct. Sulfate has two minus, so you need two ammoniums to balance that out. Okay, let's react these two. This is double replacement, they're both ionic. So we're gonna get a lead sulfate. So this is step one, right in the reaction. We'll balance it in just a second. And ammonium nitrate. Okay, I think I need a 2 in front of ammonium nitrate, and that should do it. Okay, now that I've got it balanced, now we're going to work on the state symbols. From the way I worded the question, I said the first two are mixed in solution, you know they're aqueous. We can also use the solubility rules to figure that out. Uh, nitrates are always aqueous, so lead nitrate would be aqueous. And then ammoniums are aqueous, so that's AQ. And then for the same reason, you know this product here either via ammonium or nitrate is aqueous. Then lead sulfate. You need to look in your solubility rules, so pull that out if you don't have it out. And you see sulfates are normally aqueous, except uh, there's a number of exceptions, and if lead too is with a sulfate, it's a solid. So we got that. All right, so now let's uh, write out the strong electrolytes to do step three. So that would be the first one is definitely a strong electrolyte. It's an ionic aqueous, so we got lead two plus and two nitrates. The second one, also, same reason, strong electrolyte. We've got two ammoniums and a sulfate. This is a strong electrolyte uh, because it's uh, aqueous ionic. Solids are not strong electrolytes, so I won't, that's not a good one, but this one is. This is aqueous, and again, it's ionic, so we've got two ammoniums and two nitrates. Okay, now let's see what cancels. On both sides, there's an ammonium, two of them, and there's a nitrate. So both of those cancel in solution, and we're just left... Uh, with this final answer, let me write it down. Lead 2 plus aqueous plus sulfate aqueous goes to lead 2 sulfate solid. And that's your final answer. Okay, so that's all we're going to do with that. Let's go to the next topic acids and bases. Okay, I'll say a couple things about acids and bases just to get us going here. Uh, you'll need to know the neutralization reaction for an acid and base. Acid plus base goes to salt plus water. One of our reactions was exactly like that. Um, except we had a weak base, but it still follows that same kind of format. And then you'll need to know which ones are the strong acids and strong bases. So if you don't know that, check that out. Um, and so you can have net ionics, as you just saw in the previous example, with acids and bases. Uh, then just know the general definition of an acid and base. So an acid is a proton donor, a base is a proton acceptor, or you might say it's also a hydroxide donor. So bases often have hydroxides. They would, uh, in our case, they'd be a metal, usually with a hydroxide, uh, but it doesn't have to be. And an acid is... Uh, 